Hello, everyone. Uh, for those of you in the States, hope you had a safe July 4th weekend. Um, and any, anyway, it's time for another Unity Beginners tutorial. This time on how to make a GUI or a UI, uh, you know, buttons and whatnot, a HUD for your games and applications. So I have a test scene here, just has a camera on it. And let's go ahead and drag a script in here. So if we go down to my scripts. Uh, you'll see I, I made a folder called GUI scripts, and I already created a script called test GUI. So I'll just drag and drop that onto there. Uh, again, I created that by cre right-clicking and going to create JavaScript. Okay, so my uh, test GUI script here. Let's open up the script. Um, let me just do this piece by piece. Uh, anyway, um, when you first uh, look at the script, it's going to just come with the update function. There's another function here. Let me just cut this out so you can see it um, there is another function built into unity called uh, on GUI so anything you put into this on GUI function is going to is going to uh, draw your actual uh, GUI okay so um, the first thing I did was I created a variable called button one and that I assigned it a type texture okay so that's gonna be the image that's gonna uh, be drawn on the button uh, this my skin uh, GUI skin. I'll explain here in a second. Okay, so then the next thing I did was inside of the on GUI function, uh, I put this code in here: if GUI dot button and then rectangle uh, 250 for x coordinate, 250 for y coordinate, 128 for uh, width and 128 for height, and then comma button one, which refers again to that texture image, and then the brackets. Okay, so whatever we want to happen when this button is pressed goes inside these brackets. In this case, since there's really nothing in this scene to manipulate, I just said debug.log button press. So what that means is if we go to window, console, you'll see the console window. Okay, uh, you can print out information to yourself. Uh, error messages will pop up in here. It's very uh, convenient to have the console w window open. Okay, and so... Uh, we need to associate some variable, uh, some actual uh, material assets with these variables. So you'll see here under my camera, when I dragged it in here, that my uh, button and, and my uh, GUI skin variables uh, don't have anything in them yet. So let's drag some stuff in here. Okay. I'll drag this portrait onto here. I'll drag... Now, I, um, I'll explain this in a second. I need to drag the skin onto here uh, in order to get things to work. So let's see if things are working here. Uh, for one thing, I need actually, actually to show you what it will look like without the skin attached. Okay, waiting for script to compile. Okay, so there's our button. And as you can see, the button by itself will have this kind of like frame around it. So when I press on that, you can see down here the last message that was sent to the console. So if I bring up my console, you can see that it says button press whenever I press on that. Okay. So let, what do I want to do? How do I get rid of this kind of frame, this box that's around these buttons? Because I want this to be a circular button uh, defined by the actual image here. Okay. So simple enough. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is create a, a GUI skin. And as you can see, I, I already have one here. You go to Assets, um, Create GUI Skin. So I created a skin a while back. Uh, I called it My Skin, and it's in here in my Projects folder. And then underneath Button, I just went into all these, these areas here, Margin, Padding, and Border. I just turned all of those to zero. So there is no margin, no padding, and no border. Okay, so now whenever... Uh, if I want to um, use the skin, it will override all of those uh, defaults. So let's go ahead and uncomment this thing here. Uh, I created a variable called GUI skin, or my skin, and I set it to the type GUI skin. And you saw that I drag and dropped that uh, my skin thing onto there. So um, I'll just uncomment this and save it. So at the beginning of all my GUI stuff, I'm just saying GUI.skin equals my skin. Okay, so all the attributes of that GUI skin are going to be applied to everything here in my GUI. 
So now when I do this again, now hopefully it will run and do it correctly. Yes. As you can see here, now we do not get that frame, that border around it, and the button is pressed like, um, is in fact working the way it did before. So those are some of the basics. Uh, again, you've got, you have to look into the uh, documentation, but you've got um, GUI.button, GUI.label, um, you know, there's, there's various things built into the uh, GUI scripting language. So I hope that helps you out.